All right, guys, interesting episode. We're actually gonna start here in Southern Illinois, where I'm from, and then we're gonna be headed to Grenada, Mississippi. So we're gonna immediately go like this to Grenada, landing, putting in, and catching big slabs, but just want you guys to check it out. There is a big process to actually getting your boat ready for a trip, so that's exactly what I'm doing right now as I'm prepping the boat, pitting all the stuff. Oh, let me let me show you something real quick. This is, this is definitely gonna be interesting. Now check this out guys, you know that I've struggled with crappie breaks. I've struggled with this, I, I have really struggled with this knuckle breaking and as you can see those two screws have broken, they've broken into the knuckle and so we're actually going to be getting that fixed. We have a brand new bracket that they're going to introduce to us when we get down there after we fish. So we're going to fish first and then, uh, then yeah, we're going to put that new bracket on and you guys are going to get to check that out. So yeah, so that's it. We're going to get that fixed. We're going to put big slabs in the boat and it's going to happen like this. I got it. It's good fish. That's a good fish right there, guys. Look at that. That was a great slow-mo of an absolute pig. Let's see. Two thirty-eight. Two thirty-eight on. Good fish. Now, today we're using the, the Savage 13, guys. I mean, can't preach enough. They're available here at the PTG Outdoor Store. Um, so check them out. Um, they've got them all and they're loaded up with the Savage 13. We're using it as a 15 foot. That's what we're starting it off with. Um, I don't see us changing. That's where we've been on Darbone, now in Grenada. So yeah, Savage 13, legit. And we are using the, I'm using the optimized sniping grade. Mike is using the Meteor. Oh my God, that's a good fish, man. That is a good fish. Better than I thought. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, we can make him turn. <laughs> We're gonna see how that one shakes out. Good night! It's almost a three pounder, dude. <laughs> that's a that's a 293. Four. 293. 293. Wow, almost a three pounder. That's fantastic. Good. <laughs> we took that a darn <laughs> Yeah, 165. There you go. Oh, homie. Yeah. Huh. What? You, let's see. Go away, him. 220. All right, guys, we're gonna do a gear check. Um, three pound fish and savage. If you guys don't know, it's a uh, 13 footer that goes to a 15 and a 16 footer. We're using it as a 15 footer. You simply do that by adding the mid sections, which is unbelievable. It's like getting three rods in one, guys. Optimize, three pound fishing reel. And uh, we're vertical vision, fishing completely, uh, really 
having to put it on their nose before they commit to it. But we've got some really good slabs in the boat, obviously, as, as you have seen. Uh, hog fishing, turn this off here. Hog fishing nets, guys. Check them out at hogfishing.com. Um, 125 variations, match your boat. Doesn't get any better than that. And then of course you got bait pop right here guys check them out and all the other fine uh ptg here locally at grenada can't thank them enough but anyway vertical fishing having a great time uh big fish in the boat you gotta love grenada and uh if you have the time find your way down here guys That's that could be a three pounder. Yeah, maybe not. That'd be pretty. Man, <laughs> grenade is incredible. Two and a half. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Man. <laughs> Unbelievable. I got it. Look at that. Two fifty three. Two fifty three. Guys, we're crushing it. Another two and a half or three pounder in this episode. Two nine uh, three. Call it what you want. Freaking awesome. Monster fish here at Grenada. All right, guys, we're at PTG. We just got off the water. We said, hey, let's go get these copy breaks fixed. My man Brandon says they got a new bracket that uh, they're actually gonna make available to everyone. So if you recall, I broke this knuckle right here. So we're gonna be changing out this knuckle right here. You guys are gonna see it all when it's done. The home of PTG, I'll give you, a, how about I tell you what, let's, let's do a walkthrough real quick. So guys, they got the Savages here at PTG and they're just now getting loaded up with the new sniping braid and the hog fishing nets. Just a quick walk through. We've got the hog fishing nets. We're going to fill those up for them real quick. But everything you could want here in Grenada, Mississippi is here at PTG. Great store, man. They got it all. All right, guys, we got Brandon here, owner of PTG Outdoors here. He's gonna walk you through the new performance brakes. Performance brackets or per performance brakes? Brakes. Okay, we got performance brakes. Walk us through it. All right, guys, so basically what we're doing here is, is is we're getting rid of the old cylinder style up here where you have just the end of the bolts going through into the cylinder. We noticed that breaking bolts off whenever you hang a stomp or anything like that. So now we have these bolted all the way through. We've got bushings in here to make it nice and tight so that you don't shear your bolts off. All right, walk them through this bottom section as well if you wouldn't mind. All right, the bottom section, if you can notice, this right here is split all the way and it tightens down a lot better than the old brackets. And what it does is it, it keeps the play out of right here so it's not spinning and rubbing your shaft. So basically in the past, we would strip it, strip off on the uh, the spike of the uh, power pole. And here, as you can see, you can see the marks right there that we've left because we've had to reposition, reposition, reposition. Now we're actually gonna tighten down. That's right. That's awesome, man. So where can they get them from? They can get them PTG Outdoors. Uh, you can order them online or you can call us. We'll ship them out to you, 662-459-9311.
Guys, if you got brakes on your boat, this is a must have, check it out. PTG, give them a call. So one of the things I noticed was that there's a, there's definitely a better water seal going on up here too with this upgrade. So what's the story on that right there, Brandon? All right, so this right here, the, the old style setup was decent, but I didn't like the way that it looked. So now we actually were working with several different layers of heat shrink so that this connection right here is 100% water tight. The other one would work, but every once in a while you would get some water in there. So we have swapped over to doing this. So whenever you come in to swap out your brackets, we're also gonna swap out a little bit on the wiring. That's awesome, man. That, I mean, seriously, I was always concerned about it. I, I would not bring the, the brake system below the water surface just because I was worried about it. Right, seriously. Now, now you can throw them all the way down. <laughs> yeah, with confidence, bam.